Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through five things to do when you feel uninspired. Being in a creative rut is just part of the process and it happens to all of us. But there are some unconventional things that you can do to reignite that flame. And it all starts with mindsets. Do you remember when you were in school or maybe you were in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts and you had a bunch of service projects that you had to do. You were required a certain amount of volunteer hours. Do you remember how good you felt after you completed those tasks where you donated your time and possibly your talent? When we can bring that back into our everyday life and into our business, having a spirit of generosity is what's going to propel us forward. Of course, you still need to have boundaries. Now, before we get into the five things you can do to get re-inspired, I want to thank my sponsor Squarespace for making this free photography video possible. A photo speaks a thousand words, but a polished and professional portfolio can get us those thousand dollar clients. Enter Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for websites and domains. Photographers, it's time to be done settling for slow loading websites with tedious plugins. I trust Squarespace's all-in-one platform to keep me booked and busy. Pick from one of their dozens of contemporary drag and drop layouts, host your custom domain and email with them, and even conduct successful email campaigns. Everything you need to run a successful photography business under their umbrella and at your fingertips. You can head to squarespace.com to begin your free trial and when you are ready to launch your beautiful professional website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Five ways to beat burnout and stay inspired. Number one is about journaling. Brain dumping everything that's going on in your mind, even the struggle of feeling uninspired or maybe you haven't been booking as much or maybe you're getting ghosted quite a bit, maybe in the business realm and the dating world, dumping everything that's going on right now in all the different corners of your mind onto paper is going to help clear up your thoughts and your mind, and you might even find yourself progressing into a to-do list. I love doing a brain dump at the beginning of each week, my task list, and this could be anything from high priority to little things I could get to even the next week. Number two is about creating a physical inspiration board. So this isn't a Pinterest board. I'm talking about going to an actual craft store and buying a blank canvas. This idea came from one of my favorite textile designers, Aviva Standoff. We did a interview back in 2020 on Instagram Live and she takes full credit for this. So she has three big canvases in her studio that she pins inspiration to. Nothing can be digital. When you restrict yourself to only physical realm and not using the digital, you can start to see a common thread that's genuinely coming from the things you're being inspired by and seeing in day-to-day -day life. The third thing to do to beat burnout and to stay inspired or get re-inspired is to set strict boundaries with your phone. The very first video that I published here on YouTube in 2022 is my number one tip on being productive. It's all about setting boundaries with your cell phone usage. And I recently spoke at a conference um, in Utah and this was my same talk. I've talked about it on podcasts because I really think that Phone usage is tied to a lack of inspiration because we are constantly playing the comparison game. So in that video, I share different kind of tiers to restricting your phone usage and how to work up to it. But the first thing that I would recommend you to do is to turn off all social media notifications. And I'll give a bonus one right here. It's to delete any apps from your phone that you can easily use and access on your desktop computer. So. Twitter and Pinterest, you don't need to be using them on your phone. Chances are you're not actually sending out tweets on Twitter, you're just aimlessly scrolling and that's going to kill your productivity. Number four ties into social media as well. I have quite a few points within this. Unfollow and mute anything that makes you feel jealous on Instagram. This could be anything from a public figure to a shop. So unfollow the stores on Instagram and unfollow anyone who gives you a bad feeling in your stomach. You feel jealous whenever you watch them and you don't actually need to be following them. You don't have a personal relationship. For those that you have a personal relationship with, just simply mute their posts and their stories. When you follow them on social media, it does create more comparison versus inspiration because 
Instagram has our brain conditioned for that behavior, to constantly be comparing our life against other people's, therefore our work against other people or our lack of work against how much we're seeing others get done. Instead, if you do really love their photography work, for example, follow them on Pinterest rather than Instagram. So when you are on Pinterest, our brain is more conditioned to find inspiration there rather than comparison like on Instagram. Number five, I think that this is one of the most important points and something that you can instantly implement by texting somebody in your circle. Spend time with people who are outside of your industry, whether that's photography or the creative industry as a whole. Reaching out and cultivating relationships with people who cannot help you in any way having to do with your business is a great way to also unplug and to recharge and to get re-inspired, of course. I need to really emphasize this. Being friends with other photographers is super important, especially for support, um, whether you're going through a difficult time or you need help on a certain topic. And you know, if you don't have a lot of people in your day-to-day -day life who can help you in that regard, then Build and Bloom is a fantastic place to get that support and that help that you need. It's a really important balance to strike and both are very valuable, but a lot of us might find ourselves having this season of life where we're only spending time with people who are doing the same thing as us. And rather, it's important for us to step our toes into other areas, right? Just so that you have that balance so you're a more well-rounded person. Those are my five tips, but I wanna share one more. When you find that you are in a creative rut, you could utilize this time to get into the nitty gritty, the uncreative stuff, such as setting up your website, registering yourself as a business entity, opening up a business bank account, finding an accountant. And if you're like, yeah, that has been on my to-do list, but I don't know where to begin, I feel overwhelmed then I invite you to my Business Basics online class where I am teaching you in a very simplified way the eight essential steps to getting your photography business legal and legit. In this class, you are going to receive not only what to do, but I'm going to tell you when to do it so you actually get it done and you have that accountability. So if you're interested in Business Basics, just head to my website, jessicawhitaker.co slash business basics. It will also be linked down below. I believe in you and I believe in your business. I will see you over in my next video where we are talking all about how to be more productive with your time, how to set boundaries around phone and social media usage. So click right here to watch. Don't forget to subscribe so you're the first to know when new free tutorials for your business come out and I'll see you over in the next one. Bye.